So hello and welcome. So today we're going to be talking about um, staying healthy and then recovering quickly if you do get ill. Now, one of the things that often comes up around energetic stuff is you probably heard that, you know, you can be healthy all the beep in time Woo. and you're not supposed to ever get ill. Wow. So then what happens is when you do get ill, um, you can have judgments and think you're not doing something right. Yikes. So everything all that brought up, Woo. do you choose to release, Woo. let go and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Ah, oh, yes, I choose that and vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Yeah, because you as an energetically aware person actually have the capacity to stay healthy in more situations and then recover more quickly if you do get ill. So why is this coming up today? Well, over the weekend, I actually had the stomach flu. Ugh, yikes. And the thing is, is I don't get sick. Um, but that wasn't always the case. So before I started doing energetic work, I would basically catch everything that was going around. Ooh, I would use up all my sick days at work actually being sick. Whoa, yikes. So for a while I thought, oh geez, I have this a weak constitution, my immune system is down. But once I started understanding the energetic work that we do in this class, in this in our time together, um, it really started to make sense. So one of the things that happens is you as an energetically aware person, you have the capacity to frequency match the vibrations of anyone that you're around. Ooh, yikes. And now this is a capacity. It's like basically a chameleon capacity that allows you to kind of blend into any situation because you with your energetic awareness, your energetic magical powers um, are actually a really advanced human. You have the capacities that other people don't have and standing out with these capacities throughout history actually has been kind of a limitation because people might kill you. They might capture you. Ooh, yikes. Yep. So everywhere that you've been trying to hide these capacities woo, and hide these capacities by mimicking people around you when that's not a contribution for you to mimic, woo, do you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Ah, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Yeah. So when you're energetically mimicking people around you, that's actually sometimes a good thing. But if that person happens to be ill, when you energetically mimic them, have the same vibrations as they do, those vibrations can create that illness in you. Woo. Yeah. So everywhere that um, that's been happening, do you choose to release and let all that go? <sighs> yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. <clears throat> and then another thing that happens is that when we're around somebody who is or might be ill, you can say things like, ooh, I don't want what they have. I don't want to get ill. I don't have time to get ill. Ugh, yikes. Um, and the thing is, is uh, your body, your subconscious, and the energetic creation field don't understand negatives. So when you say, I don't want to get ill, your body and subconscious and the creation field hears you want to get ill. Ugh, yikes, so everything that brought up, ooh, do you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Ah, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Woo, let all that go. Let all that go. Let all that go. Yeah. And so the part around that is you just want to change it when you're around people um, that might be ill is, oh, I would like to stay healthy. Hmm. There you go. That's just a simple shift like that. And then there's one other one I want to talk about today. Um, and that is um, when you say that you're sick of something. Ugh, yikes. And we're all in some ways sick of something, you know, whether it's politics, extremist religion, war, COVID, woo, all kinds of crazy stuff. And while we don't like it, when you say that you're sick of it, once again, your body, subconscious, and the energetic creation field hears you are sick. Ugh. So all the things that you've decided that you were sick of, do you choose to shift that to something more, a little bit more positive, not like really positive, but like you just don't like it. You know, you don't like politics. You don't like the war. You don't like COVID. Ugh, yikes. So all the places that you said that you were sick of something, do you choose to shift that to you just don't like it? <sighs> yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy. Cool. Awesome. Um, and then the other thing is this like, how do you actually... Um, well, what do you do when you are in a situation where those things come up? When you're around somebody who is like super ill and you really don't want to get ill and you have those little doubts that pop into your head. And we all have them and I get it. Um, so what I've done is I've created an energetic uh, releasing audio. Um, I call it uh, Be Incredibly Healthy Now. Now I created the first version right after I recovered from a life-threatening illness because I realized that during that time, if I had had some continual energetic support, 
I would have been able to move through it a lot more quickly. And then um, the part is, is like I use this audio um, if I'm around people that are sick or ill, or even if I just need to like recover, like I've done too much yard work and I'm a little bit tired or even exhausted because we've all done all done that. And I'll put the link below. And the part is, is I've created two versions of this. One, a compressed version that has the full version running in four times normal speed in the background for when you really need that quick boost and the quick reminder that you don't have to be ill. You can stay healthy, even when people around you are getting ill. Oh, do you feel the release on that? Yeah, it's super nice and super calm. Awesome. Yeah, so everywhere, let's just do a really quick around that. So everywhere that you've been frequency matching to people around you when that's not a contribution to you, and everything that you said that you were sick of, everything all that brought up, do you choose to release, let go, and or allow all that to be removed from your reality now? Oh, yes, I choose that. Vaporize, liquefy, vaporize, liquefy, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish, banish, vanquish. And what awareness, energy, and frequency can you and your body be to be healthy, to stay healthy, and to be more of your natural and authentic self this week? Ooh, oh, that feels awesome. Okay, great. So I'm going to put that link below uh, to the Be Incredibly Healthy Now. And I'm going to also give you a little quick discount code. So if you uh, purchase the audio in the next week or two, um, you'll get that special discount. So I'm Max Riggs, Energetic Awareness and Empowerment Coach. And I look forward to seeing more of the powerful, special, and magical you again soon. Bye for now.